All right, folks, so uh, today I've got a quick one for you, but um, I think that this one is going to be very helpful. So um, this is just going to be about how to handle files in both Blender and Unreal Engine. So um, you keep everything organized. Say you've got a scene like this with a bunch of different materials in it, and perhaps you haven't been the best at keeping your folders uh, organized. You don't know where all these materials are um, and you are looking to move between computers or move between, um, you know, or even just clean things up. All you need to do to uh, uh, move all of your materials to the actual file instead of in random folders is you go to external data and you go pack resources. Simply packing all of the resources into the file will allow you to just have to move the Blender file between different folders. So now if I close this, save it, and we go to our folder where we have that Blender file, which is on my optimized version here. If I copy this and go over to a new folder, um, and I'm going to paste it in here, just this file. And if we didn't have our textures packed, we would have lost a lot of different materials. So now if I open just this file, we should see all of our materials applied to the object once it opens. And if you ever see that hot pink color, then you know that you have not uh, packed your materials properly or you had a, uh, what we would call some orphan data. All right, so now you can see all the materials are appearing here. And then if, uh, so now you can pull this Blender file, bring it to a, um, a desktop computer if you're working on your laptop and you can move between the files, right? And if you want to see all of these materials again in a subsequent folder, all you gotta do is go to external data and then go unpack resources and then use files in the current directory and what it'll do is it'll actually create a folder called textures within your um, project and all of the textures that were packaged into the object are now brought back out and so we've got all of our materials set up in a lovely way here perfect okay so um, another thing i like to do is with my unreal engine folders if I go to, um, and I always keep everything organized in one project with all of the different styles of resources here, whether it's my, uh, my Rhino models or anything like that, I always keep it very organized in the same folder so that things can um, work well together. Uh, next up, we'll go to, hmm, Morehouse Unreal. And if I wanted to move this between projects, what I would do is I would actually zip the, uh, the file, compress to zip file. That whole project then gets put into a compressed zip file. If you just grab that folder and move it, sometimes there's hidden objects in there or that kind of stuff that uh, will will give you problems. So if I wanted to bring this to a print uh, to a computer lab or something like that that has Unreal on it um, to work on my project, I always zip the folder and then copy and paste it into a uh, external drive, preferably a solid state hard drive. If not, make sure that you take it off of the drive when you're working on it so that the computer that you're working on does not have issues and lag. So you would uh, unzip this folder to the desktop or documents or whatever for your project. Another real big pointer is to try to keep these files off of uh, a cloud-based service because there are so many little micro files inside of these things that oftentimes syncing takes forever and it will cause issues with, uh, with your um, uploads and stuff like that. So this is my zip file and then I could just copy it and paste it 
into um, a, a hard drive to take other places. So that's basically it. Um, keeping your resources nice and tidy and also making sure that all of your parts transfer when you open it in another program. And uh, that's how you do it. So thank you very much.